Now from News Channel 34, Hidden History, honoring black history. Throughout February, News Channel 34 has been highlighting the contributions and hidden histories of African Americans across the country. Tonight we conclude our series honoring Black History Month by seeing history through the eyes of an Indianapolis reverend who met with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. It was the late 1960s, the Civil Rights Act had just been passed, but segregation and racism were still rampant. Reverend Mel Jackson had just met Dr. King, and as David Williams reports, what happened next changed Jackson's life to this day. 88-year-old uh, Reverend Mel Jackson's first words to Dr. King were, well, memorable. It's what I told him. I thought he was a wimp. I thought he should be ashamed of himself, uh, leading people to get uh, beat upside the head. You see, Jackson was 35 at the time and had recently gotten out of the military. Soon after, Jackson left his home in Dayton, Ohio, and traveled the Midwest, organizing his own civil rights demonstrations at factories and business offices. Jackson says Dr. King told him about something different, fundamentally changing how the nation's system operates. Fast forward to 1968, Memphis, Tennessee, Reverend Jackson marked with Dr. King demanding racial equality. That's when Dr. King told Jackson something that completely changed his philosophy. If a man doesn't have anything to die for, he really is not fit to live. And boy, that gripped me. He said, now I'm willing to die for people that I love. That tragedy came true April 4th, 1968, the day Dr. King was assassinated at Memphis's Lorraine Motel. President Lyndon Johnson called King the apostle of nonviolence. Love really uh, has no barriers. Fifty years later, Dr. King's words, Jackson says, still resonate hope. You can watch all of our Black History Month stories on the Hidden History page at BinghamtonHomePage.com. When we 